Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting a simplistic seascape with a sailboat and the sketch is available for download from my website there is a link down in the description box so go ahead check it out and download for yourself so we can get started I did trace it onto my watercolor paper after drawing it on just a regular printing paper and for that I used graphite paper but you can use a window or scribble back on the back on your pa of your paper and then trace it First thing I did is prevent the entire paper and then started with the C with this lighter uh, blue that's actually something like a turquoise blue near the horizon line going downwards a little bit darker blue this is something like ultramarine and then for the shallow part of the C I used this something like rose sienna and for the sky I have not painted one even wash but I was just with my brush doing the strokes going to the to my sailboat I left the part around the sailboat the lightest and the rest of the sky a little bit darker just doing those vertical uh, vertical diagonal lines making it look like they're going to our sailboat to make that sailboat well stand out and the focal point of our painting and then with this smaller brush with a pointy tip I've just added a couple of clouds for the sky I've used ultramarine I did use a little bit of black that I mixed into that ultramarine and now again same thing as before I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment to my C just again same colors turquoise blue a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of rose sienna with the smaller brush again I'm just adding a little bit more details to the C almost the same thing as for the sky when I was adding those clouds because those clouds are also reflecting in the water and I'm not really painting a perfect reflection I'm just making somewhat similar thing on the sky and on the sea and my strokes are going all in the sky and in the sea in the same point I left it to dry completely and then added a little bit more details this time without preventing the paper I've added the horizon line in that mix of a turquoise blue and a little bit of the black and just a little bit more pigment just the same as I used before to the C here and there and after that again I was just being careful that the part where my sailboat is uh, are is dry so if it makes it easier and more comfortable for you just dry your sea completely and then move on to painting the sails and for the sails I'm losing you can see where the, there's very very transparent wash of that a turquoise blue and a little bit of rose sienna just mixed in to get this grayish color and then for the for the first sailboat and for the other two I've added just a little bit more of that rose sienna and after that I've just added also the blue I've noticed that I didn't paint the part of the sea between the boat and the, the sails so I've just added a little bit of the blue left it to dry completely again you have to leave it to dry completely for this step because it will you your lines will bleed and that's not what we want and then with this flat brush I'm just tapping in the lines and I'm not painting one straight line but I'm just tapping with uh, the tip of my flat brush and that is is how you'll get a little bit more broken and not those perfect lines I thought that would look better maybe look a little bit more like a wood or something like well I guess I, I like it better that way you can definitely uh, paint a straight line but that is how I want it I wanted my lines to be a little bit wiggly and imperfect and also painted the boat itself again in that mix of a black and this time I've added just a little bit of darker brown brown to paint in the boat and also the water with the flat brush just dipped in the shadows from the sailboat afterwards I again left it to dry completely and now with this uh, micron pen I'm just this is very 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 thin this is 005 very thin pen I'm adding the lines for those wires in the sailboats and you will have 
you will have it on your sketch just follow the lines on your sketch and somewhere the pencil lines are still visible and I did not go over the pencil lines but just drew the other lines that is also fine you can do that also with a pencil if you don't have a micron pen you can use a little bit maybe darker pencil to paint in those lines a little bit more details with neutral black and just adding to my sailboats and a little bit more of the color here and there just not to make them a little bit 3d not so flat And I guess with that, I'm almost done. One more thing. I just noticed that I'm doing it all, all over my paintings lately. I'm just adding a little cute birdies. So I will also add here some birds. And just using the tip of my brush, this is quite pointy uh, brush. I'm just using the tip of my brush to paint in the wing and then pressing it a little bit harder for the body and then just picking it up using just the tip for the other wing. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. Quite simple, I guess. You, when you see it done, you can see that it's very, very simplistic painting. And I hope you do like it. If you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. Maybe consider joining my channel. That's the channel next to the subscribe. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.